How's it going, fellow disc golfers? Thanks for joining me at Sally View, I mean Valley View Disc Golf Course in New Berlin, Wisconsin. It's probably the most family friendly, most played, most ace course in the area. So if you're looking to get one, this is the place to be. Thanks for checking it out. Let's get to it. feel the effects of the Adderall kicking in. Our commentary today is going to be rapid fire, similar to our youngins on the course who are halfway down the fairway before their friends even tee off. Most of these holes are under 250 feet, so it's not going to take too long to go through them. Hole one, we have about a 300 foot shot. You're going to want to play a hyzer on this hole, bringing it out way, way wide, um, probably wider than the building that you see on the right there, because as it loses elevation, it's going to continue to move to the left if you're throwing the backhand right-handed. Hole number two is just over to your right. Hole two, we're looking at a pretty straightforward shot. I would suggest a forehand on this guy just because if you play a backhand and it gets a skip off the path, it's going to go into that tall stuff on the left. And also, just easier to play up into the hill. Hole 3, you can see those guys in the background. That's where you're going to be heading. As you can see, you're going to be teeing off in an area near this garbage can and bench. Back in the day, it was towards the end of this concrete path. Makes it a little bit longer of a shot. You're still going to want to play a big hyzer out to the right. Because if you do kick off of the concrete, it should flare skip back into play. The grass over to the left is thick and gnarly. Do whatever you can do to avoid going in there. Prevent losing a disc. Here's your short basket coming up there. With the long just a little bit behind it. Something to note too, there's private property back behind the long pin. Just be respectful if you do go in the private property to get retrieve your disc. Hole 4 here is such a cute little guy, but just 150 feet. You're going to want to take note of the right side pin placement. If you don't see it on the left, and as it is in this video, walk down the hole and kind of like get eyes on the basket just so you know where you're going. It is in the woods, it's a little bit tricky. Hole 5 is a short 150 foot hole. To the short pin, you're going to throw out just a small ante to get down that path and stall a hyzer over to the long pin, as you'll see in a second. Once you get done putting out, just turn over to your right and you should be able to find hole six. Hole six, another straightforward shot. Careful, there's a small crick on the left, a little bit difficult to find if you get in there. Beyond that, just a nice easy throw down the middle, get your birdie, and head over to hole 7. Now hole 7, in this short pin area, all of the baskets are about 200 to 230 feet. Various placements over to the left side, where I have your marker shown on the screen. And the long pin is at roughly 260 up to the right. Just navigate it as best as you can. And when you get done with this hole, walk back into the left. And that's where you're going to find hole 8. So hole 8 is a pretty tricky touch shot in the woods. If you're playing to that right hand side basket, I would suggest a forehand just because it's a really small gap and you can get pretty close to the gap before having to navigate some trees. And if you're playing to the left side basket, just throw a straight shot that will filter down to the left side as it, it loses speed.
Hole 9 seems like a putter shot all the way. There's no need to put too much speed on it. Just let it float right down to the basket. Once you end up putting out, turn to the right and you're going to head up a small hill to get to hole 10. Hole 10, see that tree on the left side? That is the one to beat. Assuming that you can get past that, uh, it's going to be going as straight as possible and getting it to fade to the left at the end. However, if you're playing to the basket on the right side, just chuck it and hope that you're inside the circle if you get lucky. Once you put out, you're going to head over to the left side for hole 11. This hole is best played as a forehand. There is a basket placement as soon as I get past the bushes. You're going to want to walk into the woods on the right side to look for the basket if you don't see it where you see it in the video here. There's also a third position that is a little bit further back, probably 40 feet past where you see it in the video. So definitely scope out the hole before you end up playing it. For hole 12, take a look at all that wide open air out into the left side. There's no need to test the right side if you have a forehand, just chuck it on a big hyzer way out to the left side. You see the basket in the video, um, the other placement for this hole would be just 20 feet further back than it is right now tucked into the woods. So pretty similar shot for both baskets. Hole 13, another wide open shot. Take a look at where they have the marker there. Uh, if you don't see a basket there, it's going to be hidden behind that tree patch. Pretty straightforward. Usually going with a forehand on this one, although with all the trees that were taken down, you can probably sneak a backhand around the right side if you need to. Taking a look at hole 14, it does break my heart a little bit. There used to be an arching tree, as you can see it cut on the left side there which really tightened up the hole, making it kind of like a tunnel shot. Now it's pretty wide open and still fun to play. Reminds me of back in the day though. The best way to play this guy is to launch a forehand out into the open space on the left. I see too many people try the backhand and it gets caught in those trees on the right side. It's another one of those holes that they had a real big tree over the basket and ended up taking it out, but I digress. Hole 16. This is the hole that my buddy Mason Maxwell aced while I was chasing him with a drone. If you haven't seen it yet, I would suggest checking out the Jump Putt Productions video on it. It's pretty sweet. As far as playing the hole, just throw it into the hill. Don't test the concrete in the back too much um, because it will flare pretty far, 40 feet or so past if you miss. So before playing hole 17, you're going to want to check out the basket placement after putting out on 16 because it is a blind shot from the tee. Play the forehand if you got it, otherwise an overhand works as well. Backhand is a last resort, just because of the way the hill plays, uh, you don't want it to escape off to the left and get a roll down the hill where you might not even know where it goes. Alright, so our finishing hole for today is a little over 200 foot shot. I'm suggesting a backhand on this one. Keep it over to the left hand side because a forehand is going to have a tendency to kick up and roll down the hill. A backhand that lands wrong on the right side is also going to kick up and roll down the hill. So save your legs, just throw it over to the left, and try and grab your birdie to finish out the round. This has been a Jump Up Productions flyover. I do appreciate you guys every time you tune in. Be well, and remember to always throw them straight.